I live on the island of Kauai and I would like to have an electric bicycle for getting to work. The problem is I don't have a couple thousand dollars to get one imported here to Kauai, so I'd like to make one out of an existing mountain bike that I have. I went ahead and ordered a front wheel hub e-bike conversion kit. There are no lithium e-batteries available for sale on Kauai. I cannot get one shipped to the islands from the mainland as it's a dangerous substance, so the only option I have is to buy one from Oahu. There's one vendor who has one type of battery available. It's a 15 amp hour battery for $1,000. I don't have that kind of money to build this e-bike, so I've got to go with the lead acid golf cart batteries. This means I'm going to have to use four golf cart batteries to create the 48 volt battery that I need for this bike build. In order to carry a 48 volt battery made from four golf cart batteries, I'm going to need a little trailer to tow behind the bicycle. Because our tropical climate quickly rusts anything made from metal here, I decided to build this trailer out of PVC pipe. After studying all the designs I could find online, I settled on a design and started putting it together. I used a heat gun and some blocks of wood along with some clamps to flatten the area in the PVC pipe where the tires connect to it. After a bit of fussing around and using the heat gun to bend the pipe, we were able to get the trailer assembled and connected to the bicycle. Cut a piece of PVC board and zip tied it to the frame of the trailer. Then a quick test ride just to see how she goes. The connecting arm is quite janky, but as you can see, she turns and she holds. The e-bike conversion kit arrived, so we put on the front wheel and began to get started assembling and routing all of the wires. The kit comes with a little pouch to put the controller and all of the excess wires. You can see I've got it here mounted right underneath the top cross beam for the bicycle frame. There is also a nice little LCD display that gives you some good information. Now it's time to get four of these golf cart batteries, put them in a box and get them wired up as a 48 volt battery. Trying to brace the batteries inside the box with pieces of foam didn't work, so I switched over to using a can of the expanding foam. The expanding foam was a good choice. These batteries aren't going anywhere. Next we ran some wiring from the battery box to the motor controller on the bicycle. We put in quick disconnects between the battery box and the trailer and between the trailer and the bicycle. And now it's time for a quick little test drive. A few little upgrades I want to do, including building a little shelf for the inside of the box so that I can store some cargo in there. Also want to upgrade the quick release connectors to some XT90s and uh, that will be a little more durable over time. They also have a spark arrestor in there so it only disconnects 50% at a time to reduce the amount of flow. It is 48 volts after all. Also on my connector I've got a PVC pipe here that I put over the seat post and it's doing pretty good. There's enough play that it works essentially as a universal joint. Um, not going to take any real sharp turns. Don't need to with this setup anyways as the batteries are kind of heavy. So all of this of course is experimental and subject to change. So stay tuned for the next video. Aloha.